Hey guys, so uh, as you saw in the last video, I, I sold that change out to that woman with the gas and go. And I was supposed to be doing that this morning, but the phone has just blown up. Um, so we have several calls. We just finished one of them and we are going to take you guys along and see if we can film some of the other ones. This one was just a bad run capacitor for the outdoor fan motor. It was an American standard system. Had the two separate capacitors. It was a B model. Had a 80 microfarad capacitor for the uh, compressor, a single 80, and then a single 7.5 for the outdoor fan motor. And the 7.5 was bad. We put a new one, the outdoor fan motor took off running, so everything was good. On this one, uh, the customer said, it's not cooling, it's blowing hot air when they put it on cool. So. Let's go see what they got. All right, guys, we got an ICP. It's acting kind of funny. It's the fans turning slow. And I don't think the compressor's running. So it could be just a, a weak capacitor. But let's let's dig into it and see. This is one of them older ICPs with this huge door. Let me get my cup out of here. A magnetic cup. I've got the disconnect out right now, good lord. They got all kind of stuff growing in there. Okay, so they've changed the capacitor for the fan motor. It's back here in a box. It is a 7.5. First thing I want to do is determine if this compressor's running. I'm going to pull one of these low voltage wires off real quick and make, yeah, everything looks to be intact here. Yeah, the compressor's definitely running. That fan motor is barely moving. We're gonna check this capacitor. That's a plastic top. Seven point three. Yeah, we're going to need a fan motor on this unit. Let me check this. Uh, compressor capacitor it's a 40 it's a slash 7.5 too yeah it's putting out 41 yeah 41 microfarads and it's a 40 
Let's see if the 7.5 side is any good. Yeah, eight microfarads. They could have hooked that thing up to the to the dual capacitor and just capped off the uh, the one with the white stripe. Oh, well, that ain't good. They had to cut that out to get that capacitor in there. I was trying to push that spade on there. <sighs> trying to. There we go. Okay, I got it in there. <coughs> I'm going to plug it up again and I'll show you guys what the fan motor is doing. Let me hook uh, my hermetic wire back up. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I mean, it, look how slow it's turning. I mean, I can't even feel no air being discharged. Let me, uh, let me get an amp draw on that fan motor. And it is the OEM. No, it's not. It's a replacement motor. Oh yeah, it's, look at that. It's drawing almost five amps, that motor shot. Oh yeah, look, the motor the motor's actually stopping. Okay. So he's gonna have to have a fan motor. So let me call him and let him, yeah, see it's, it's stiff. I can feel the heat coming off of it. Yep, he's definitely going to have to have a fan motor on this thing. All right, let me uh, let me get in touch with him. Uh, this is a rental. I got to get in touch with the landlord. Okay, so we got approval to do the fan motor and the evaporator coil is clogged. It needs to be pulled and clean, but because of the age of the unit, he just wants me to clean it in place the best that I can. And then he said, next time something happens, we'll just replace the system. So that's fine with me if that's what he wants to do. Boy, this blade is going to be fun to get off. The set screw. I'm wondering if they put this blade on backwards. No, this because, this, yeah, the set screw is on the bottom. Let me see if I can... I don't even know if I can get a wrench on there to get it loose without pulling the motor first. I really need to get the blade off. Okay. Yeah, I'll tell him. I'm gonna try to get this wrench on there.
Yeah, they there's no way to get that motor to get that damn blade off of there until I uh unbolt the fan. Let me see here. Yep, that's the one. I love this damn thing. Oh, shit. Cut these wires. Yeah, that motor is hot. Motor is motor's extremely hot. Disconnect is out. Okay, I got the set screws off. Now we're gonna see if we can get this blade to move down a little bit so we can sand it. Oh, yeah, it doesn't wanna move in that damn hub.
Mm -mm. No, that thing's on there. All right, I have to try one more trick. All right, Ted, we're gonna try you a trick here. I cut the shaft, I'm gonna oil it. And I'm gonna take these titanium blades here and drill this thing out and I'm gonna start small. And then work my way into a bigger size because I honestly don't think a puller will get this. But I've seen Ted Cook do this with real good success. So let's see how it goes. Let me see if I can smooth that out a little bit. bigger So we better go bigger. So what it does is it heats up that hub and breaks it free. going to keep going bigger that's what i saw ted do one time in a video and it came right off of there spam callers well Ted your, your trick hasn't worked for me yet buddy but I'm gonna keep going at it
this is about as big as I'll be able to go right here. So if this don't get it, I'm gonna be a little scared. Ooh, yeah, see. It just broke my bit. And you know, I just thought about it, guys. Even if I wanted to put a puller on it, I can't because the blade is upside down. But I have done everything that I know to do to get this, uh, to get this blade off. I'm going to go attempt one last thing. I'm going to take my turbo torch and I'm going to put some heat on that hub and see if I can get that hub to expand a little bit. Oh, great. This is supposed to be turned. There we go. get it off. Nope. Alright, we're going to have to get a new blade. We'll pick up a blade and a motor. behind the truck I here and play with that all day long pick up my stuff all right guys we'll get back to y'all all right guys we're about to head to the supply house to pick up a new fan blade i've got a motor on the truck but instead of using one on the truck, since I gotta go to the supply house, I'll just get a new motor while I'm there too. It's just a, it's just a uh, multi-horsepower uh, third to six, 1075. So we'll uh, get that in a blade. I tried everything. They got the blade upside down, so I can't put a puller on it or anything. So we'll, uh, we're just going to have to get a blade. That's all we can do. Get him a blade and a, mo and a motor, put that on, clean the coil in place as best we can. And that's what he wants to do with this one. So we're going to get it done. Okay. So they had the OEM blade, which is in the truck over here. The, they had the OEM motor, but it was really expensive. And I quoted the customer a price for a universal. So if I'd have got the OEM motor, I'd have lost money or I would have had to go up on the price and he wouldn't have been okay with that. So it's a fifth horsepower, 
but because of the amp draw they recommended that we replace it with a straight quarter horse 1075 because it was a fifth 1100 so this will work fine and then we got the oem fan blade so we're going to go put this on There we go. Okay. Ugh. It's sitting in there now. Okay, I got it started. Now all I gotta do is get my bit. That ain't going nowhere. Okay. Good. I'm trying to feed the wires through. There they are. All right, guys, I'm not afraid to say when I make a mistake. And it looks like I've made a mistake with this fan blade because this curve needs to be facing up and these weights need to be facing the other way. So it looks like I, I have put the blade on upside down and I guess I'm just gonna have to tighten the set screws from underneath. So I'm gonna smooth this out so that I can get it off and spin it around. Okay, so I got that pretty smooth. So I was wrong about the other guy. He did have it on right. I knew something didn't look right when I put this on. There we go. See, that, that's, that's, that looks more natural to me. Um... Okay, I can see where I had the other set screws screwed on that. Well, actually no, it's sucking it down. All right, so let me reverse the rotation. And if I did anything wrong here, guys, you don't have to be a dickhead about it. Just tell me in the comments. It has been a long time since I've replaced a motor shaft up. And I, but I mean, this just looks more natural to me with the, with the blades, uh, facing upward like this. The other way just did not look right. I'm reversing the rotation. OK, 
okay. You get a zip tie for that. camera went dead earlier when I was wiring it up but I have spare batteries so that's why y'all didn't get to see the conclusion of that but it's all wired up new capacitors in That looks more natural to me it sounds normal it's discharging hot air out the top yeah you can see the leaf there we go all right guys so I'm not afraid to say that that one threw me for a loop there's some fiberglass on them old units and it got me um, I have not done a shaft up motor in a cradle in a really long time. So it threw me for a loop when I went to put the new blade on. I put the new blade on like normal, you know, when you would flip it upside down. But when you flip it upside down, the, the bends are facing up and I'm like, something just didn't look right. So I reversed the blade because no matter which way I would reverse the polarity, on that motor, it was still throwing air downward because the scoop was facing downward instead of upward. So I reversed the blade. I tightened up the set screws as best I could with my crescent wrench and my channel locks. And it's it's still running. I'm, I can see it running. And uh, you know, if I did something wrong on this, on that job, Constructive criticism is always welcome. You don't have to be an asshole about it though. 
So if I did something wrong or if I did if I did do it right or whatever, please leave your comments down below. But that's it for this one. Uh, we got two more calls and uh, that'll end our day. I probably won't get to my change out today. I've already rescheduled it for tomorrow. Thanks for watching and we'll see y'all on the next one.